Y'all ain't gonna believe this. In a sworn statement, a retiring Republican Texas state senator said he believes the GOP violated federal voting laws when they redistricted State Senate District 10 in the Fort Worth area. In November, Texas Senator Kale uh, Seliger said, having participated in the 2011 and 2013 Senate Select Redistricting Committee proceedings, and having read the prior federal court decision regarding SD10, it was obvious to me that the renewed effort to dismantle SD10 violated the Voting Rights Act and the U.S. Constitution. Y'all, he literally signed this in an affidavit. Now, Texas maps were redrawn and approved by Governor Greg Abbott in October, some of, the, uh, some of them diluted the voting power of minority voters and increased districts with majority whites. Joining us now uh, is State Representative Jasmine Crockett of Texas. Uh, this has to be quite surprising to you to have one of your Texas legislature colleagues, a white Republican, come out and say, yeah, my party in this district deliberately wanted to violate the Voting Rights Act. First of all, Roland, it's good to see you. You know, people don't understand what all goes on behind the scenes. Um, our lieutenant governor's race is a race that nobody is really talking about. But people don't understand how much power our lieutenant governor has. And so to me, this is a result of the war that the lieutenant governor decided to wage, not only on Democrats, but on some of the Republicans as well. If they didn't line up fast enough or quick enough, he decided, decided that he was going after them. And so you saw a number of Republicans that retired that didn't want to retire. They retired because he messed their districts up. And so I think this is a little bit of that backlash for him going after some of his own. And for folks who don't know, in Texas, uh, the lieutenant governor controls the Texas state senate they literally have more power than the governor in Texas. Uh, that's how that goes. Uh, Jasmine, uh, Representative Crockett, it's been a constant battle in Texas uh, when it comes to voting rights. Uh, they're being sued. The Department of Justice is also uh, going after them as well. Um, but these are the type of shameful things Republicans are doing to hold onto power. Oh, absolutely. It's a matter of, uh, by, me, by any means necessary. Um, they don't really care about fairness. And they know that they're wrong. Um, they knew that they were wrong when they did it. Um, the difference is they felt as if they had all the cards in the deck. They felt as if it didn't matter because the federal courts weren't going to side with us. They felt as if it didn't matter because even if it went to the Supreme Court, by the time it gets to the Supreme Court, we'll probably be looking at redistricting again. They also thought that because the Voting Rights Act had been gutted for the vast majority of it, that it still wouldn't matter. So they thought they had all the cards. And that's why we were fighting so hard for the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act and fighting for something. Even when Republicans kept saying that we just wanted to ignore our job, no, we were fighting. And if you will remember, it was the Texas House that decided to leave. The Texas Senate did not break quorum. Both chambers could have broken quorum, but it was only one chamber that did. And so if people just better understood how powerful that man is and how he wages his power amongst like everyone, um, then they would understand kind of what was at play here. You know, Beverly Powell is somebody that historically has worked across the aisle. And so it seems like she was able to reach across the aisle to a colleague and say, listen, we both got messed up, but you know what happened to my district was wrong by law. Please stand with me. And he was in a position where he had nothing to lose. And so he told the truth. The sad part is this happened in both chambers. This was the whole point of everything that they were doing. They knew they were wrong. They knew that we had 95% of our growth due to people of color. And they knew that they never intended to have any new majority minority districts in the state of Texas when it came to the congressional district. Uh, well, look, it is a continual battle that we see uh, all uh, across this country. Uh, and the bottom line is this here. Uh, the battle uh, continues. We saw today where uh, a court in Pennsylvania uh, threw out the, um, um, the ability to vote uh, for, for, for no excuse voting. Uh, Donald Trump is, uh, is gloating in this, but the Pennsylvania Supreme Court could very well overturn that decision. Uh, and so the battle continues in the courts, which is why 
we keep trying to explain to people, you got to vote because guess what? Those judges are also on the ballot as well. And when Republicans control the bench, then they can pass the laws as well. They're guaranteeing the laws will never get overturned because they control the bench. Absolutely. I mean, you bring up another good point. We had 40 to 60 percent so far of our vote by mail applications that have been thrown out in the state of Texas under the new law. 40 to 60 percent. Now, when we look at the fact that Trump lost for those of those those people that don't know, when we look at the fact that Trump lost, we saw that there was a lot of vote by mail. We saw that Democrats, especially in the midst of the pandemic, were performing were preferring to do vote by mail. And so when you see these sinister laws that were going through the state houses, then you better understand what the overall scheme was. Um, It's what we kind of have been yelling and screaming about since this summer, but so many people wanted to ignore us or ignore the fact that we continue to say that our democracy was crumbling right before our eyes. We see that we can't even rely on the courts. And so the only legislature that seemingly has the power to make a difference right now is the federal legislature. That's where the Democrats control the House, the Senate, as well as the executive position. That is where we have to get some sort of help. Because when you're looking at states like Georgia or Texas or Florida, it ain't coming out of the state houses. It's going to have to come from the big house. And so we are hoping and praying that, you know, they come up with a creative way to work through this filibuster block that we have on the U.S. Senate side, because it's not about just Texas, it's about this entire country. And honestly, if you see the democracy in the United States start to fail, then what's gonna happen around this world? We are the ones that normally go in and tell everybody that, hey, we want a democracy, dictatorships and authoritarianism, it's, it's wrong, right? It's not the way of the world. We're the ones that say that, but it's more like, um, don't pay attention to what I do, just pay attention to what I say. So we've got to do better, and I really need to see some courage on the federal level soon. Well, uh, and I wish uh, Arizona Senator Kristen Cinema and Senator Joe Manchin would wake the hell up and realize what's mm. going on across the country. Representative Jasmine Crockett, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I gotta defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with Roland all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own, a black man owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Wow. Roland was amazing on that. Hey, Blake, I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?